Hello dear comrades, this is Andy Apex from Soviet News. Today we celebrate a great technological advancement, but first... Yes, that's right, we're playing a historical version in my real solar system. Next, we're gonna launch Explorer 1 for the United States. But first, Sputnik 1 has to get into orbit. The year is 1958, I think. I really have no clue. But, we're still launching Sputnik 1 into low Earth orbit. Sputnik 1 rides to road to space aboard an R-7 modified intercontinental ballistic missile. The R-7 was initially designed to place nuclear weapons on the United States. After that, it was modified to carry the, the Soviet Union space probes, such as Sputnik and even manned mi missions such as the Vostok. Vodstock program. But right now it's the first launch of, Sp of a Sputnik spacecraft. It's already 4.7 kilometers altitude. It's already traveling at ludicrous speed. Not ludicrous. That gets up to when we get onto orbit. See up here we're using some mods like clamps be gone. And real plume, as well the KSC switcher, which allows me to switch Kerbal Space Center locations, like I switch from Kennedy to Baikonur. Baikonur. Then I'm gonna switch back to Kennedy. And then I might come on later on and use, like, proton launchers to launch payloads. That orbit there is a communications satellite. That's yet to be placed in GTO. It's sort of just in... This is just a save where I muck around with stuff. I just screw around in this save for fun. We're already at 500 meters a second and Mach 2, 16 kilometers in altitude, 2 kilometers downrange. With the sun rising over the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Earth calendar. It is 
is nineteen fifty eight it's January sixth nineteen fifty eight The R7 has four external boosters and a center core second stage, they call it. So these boosters would be considered the first stage, and this core would be considered the second stage, even though the, all 32 engines are fired at one time. There are four engines on e at each booster and in the center core. The R7 is 35 kilometers up and 7 kilometers downrange, traveling at 1.1 kilometers per second. Taking manual control of the spacecraft or not. Testing the separation of the four boosters. And then the nose cap and the actual payload. It's an interesting piece of space hardware. We're launching, it launched ballistically. It's a shiny soccer ball, basically, with a thing that, with a beeper. It's a shiny soccer ball with something that goes beep, 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 every so often. And it really terrified the Americans. In America, it was called the Sputnik Scare. Because people now realize that the Russians had technology to place missiles on American soil. So we're going to fly out of the atmosphere and then back down. We're going to re-enter, probably impact and blow up. If everything happens, 